Hello and welcome to Amsha Tech. Today we are discussing about debugging and uh, what is uh, the role of debugger in SAP ABAP and how this tool works in SAP ABAP and how it simplifies and how it helps the ABAPer to get the uh, root cause of any bug and how it uh, uh, it remove the bugs from the uh, SAP ABAP program all we will see in this video hope you will like it like my other videos if you are new to my channel to subscribe to my channel so first of all uh, we should know why we use debugger and what is the purpose of using debugger what are the benefits and uh, what are the key uh, key feature of uh, SAP ABAP debugger so first of all uh, any ABAPer use debug to find the line by line uh, understanding of the code number one and number two find the logic and flow of SAP ABAP program and uh, number three uh, he, uh, he could uh, easily find what are the contents and uh, what are the uh, behavior of contents of any program uh, furthermore by using the uh, debug this debugger tool uh, a webper can easily uh, can easily change the contents of the uh, logic and it can easily uh, he can easily find uh, if what uh, what will be the behavior of program if the contents of the uh, variable or any table uh, change uh, during runtime so all uh, all the things we will explore in this uh, video uh, do uh, stay in touch with this video so let's go uh, straight to the program by using uh, sc38 transaction I have created a program ZH ALVSK. This program, I should uh, increase it to uh, the font of the program so then you can easily uh, watch it out. Uh, in this program, uh, uh, first of all, this is the name of the program, a port, and uh, after that, I'm declaring here two variables that are global variables and after that um, I have declared a single variable ok code which uh, which is a system variable and after that uh, I have declared some input parameter because every program um, or most of the program needs some parameters so then uh, it the program will run on that parameter so for using uh, the uh, input parameter we declare select options and uh, use parameters, keywords or options of uh, a web program. So I have declared uh, SO underscore CAR for uh, the carrier ID, uh, where, uh, carrier ID input parameter and uh, for and the other uh, for the selection of uh, uh, list for the selection of report. Um, I have declared two radio button in a group in a radio button group of ALV. So after that, I use case syntax. Uh, if you are new to my channel and uh, uh, you don't uh, know the, what is the case statement and what uh, is the purpose of case statement, what it do uh, do, go to the uh, go to the detailed uh, uh, video of my. Uh, regarding control statements so by using case statement I am uh, selecting uh, I'm selecting and uh, uh, making the logic of program uh, that if the user select PA list one from parameter from input parameter and the program will execute perform get one uh, f um, uh, perform get one um, uh, form Form routine, and if it if the user select PLS2 uh, from input, so the program will execute the uh, the other uh, other function. Um, 
sorry other uh, other form routine of uh, of the web program so uh, this is a logic uh, i have created a very simple program so then each uh, so then everybody or every uh, and beginner level of a webper can understand the logic because uh, in this program we are exploring only debugging not the uh, not the program sequences and other um, complex uh, topics of a web so uh, if you uh, I hope you understand the flow of uh, program it is very simple if the user select this uh, the program will go to the perform get to if the user select uh, another uh, list to so the program and the program follow will go to the uh, get data 3 and then uh, after that it will go to the uh, uh, it will go to the perform display routine which will display the result of the uh, report so uh, there are uh, for going to the um, going to in, into the mode of debugging uh, there are four options uh, main options uh, I can write here um, number one is uh, by by using the breakpoint keyword keyword and uh, break username 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 keyword so uh, let's uh, explore this one first one option uh, on in the debugging mode either it's gone let's begin I have put break point it automatically shows the web, uh, web uh, editor automatically so shows the break point keyword when you uh, only enter B R E A so I have saved the program and activated the program now execute the program by using F8 uh, if you, uh, there are as I said there are two, two input parameter list one only for AA uh, carrot ID and list two is uh, for uh, for the uh, a specific uh, carrier ID which we which are entered by the user so I am um, I am executing uh, now only the um, uh, list one only for AA option let's execute here it is so as you see program didn't uh, shows the uh, result of the report it is stuck it break the program at this point at line number six where I put the breakpoint keyword so uh, first of all um, for understanding the debugger uh, debugging tool you should know uh, some some very important points uh, regarding debugger so uh, as you are seeing this is the uh, on the left top of the debugger tool there are the uh, icon strip present here in icon strip there are four options number one is single step f5 execute f6 return f7 and the con continue f8 buttons and uh, if we uh, if you want to um, debug line by line we use F5 option if we debug uh, the uh, if we exclude the block of the um, block of the code um, we use uh, F6 and if we return from any block of code we, we use F7, F7 and if we want to execute the program till the next breakpoint or 
the end of program we use f8 uh, don't worry uh, we will explore all the four option of the, the, uh, all the four option of icon strip so you can understand better uh, don't worry uh, right now don't worry about it so as you see the program is break here I press F5 or click onto the single step button it goes to the next uh, line of code that is case control statement I again press F5 it goes to the first option because I selected PA list one that is that has the uh, value X let's explore it for the uh, for finding the value of any parameter or any uh, data variable we use the desktop variable desktop so you should also know what are the desktop and why we use desktop hold on I'm I'm telling you what are the desktop and how many types of desktop are available there are uh, you you are seeing here a desktop strip is also here is this on uh, this all strip has uh, 12 types of desktop uh, present in the debugging tool which uh, everyone and each of the each of them has uh, different uh, scenario have dis different combination of uh, tools and uh, different type of purpose each uh, tab has so we uh, we should uh, we should use we uh, the most of the programmer and the um, the most of the work can be performed by using the desktop 3 option or the standard option in the standard desktop option we have different uh, we have mainly three type of tools one tool is uh, on the uh, on the left side we have the source code tool and on the right side above we have uh, a stack uh, tool and on beneath and uh, under the uh, un, uh, and after that uh, on the um, right bottom side of the screen we have uh, the variable desktop so this is a standard desktop option which uh, is given into the ABAP debugger tool which is very useful and powerful uh, for any uh, for any addition of uh, any new tool or other tool which uh, are available into the debugger we use the new tool button let's click on the new tool button hope you are easily seeing this let's click on the new tool button here it is a list of tools are showing uh, by the um, by the debugger that what tool you want to add on because we have variable desktop already we have uh, stack uh, desktop already and we have source code uh, source code and uh, desktop already so um, we select the uh, the variable for this and we select the breakpoint desktop or the table desktop let's select it so here it is uh, you can easily uh, see that and the new tool has been added furthermore I must uh, uh, do some uh, give some uh, introduction to this tool first of all there is a cross if you don't want any tool uh, do click on the close button if you want to replace the tool to click on the replace button and if you want to full screen uh, any desktop click on the full screen uh, button and now and then if you want to return back click on the place tool and then so 
as we have click on the uh, full screen we have to uh, now add the remaining ones so i click on call stack and then i click uh, breakpoint breakpoint desktop also added and uh, number fourth one is uh, call stack call stack already present breakpoint already present and number fourth is variable file display so here it is so hope you have uh, some brief introduction of uh, the main desktop which uh, uh, which are very important for debugging the sap program or sap customized program or any sap transaction or any sap standard program so let's continue from the um, uh, from our uh, journey where it was here it is so system uh, system mm, the flow of the logic flow of the program uh, goes to the uh, line number 30 if we further click on f5 or click on the single step button the system so shows that and the control goes to the form routine which is get data 2 and get data 2 there is a local variable lv carried id which have the default value aa press f5 after pressing f5 we know that the select statement has been executed and let me introduce uh, one more thing which is system variables system variables um, have uh, uh, there are many system variables av available in the uh, debugger tool and uh, you the most important important are sy sub rc and sy tab x sy tab x use for the iteration in the loop we will discuss it in later videos and sy sub rc if the execution of the code is goes successfully executed successfully then it will return it will have the value of zero and if the a statement of read table or select select uh, uh, select statement uh, not executed properly or not get the desired result uh, the system variable value will change it will not be uh, it will not equal to zero so in this case the system variable sy sub rc has value 0 this means our select statement has been executed successfully and uh, if you want to explore the uh, the contents of the table do click on the uh, it underscore spfli which is our internal table name we will explore internal table in detail in other videos uh, so don't worry stick to my channel let's double click on the uh, it sp fli here it is in the uh, in the variable uh, desktop we are saying that uh, the the, uh, the it and the sp fli has 2 uh, 2 into 16 it's mean it has two rows and 16 columns let's get double click again into the uh, variable um, desktop here it is now it's showing all the uh, all the data which is present in this table ITSP FLI af after the result of uh, as, uh, as the select statements execution so let's back to desktop number 3 now again um, again press F5 the program flow goes into the another uh, um, uh, another case uh, case uh, option and now the program flow goes to the perf line number 36 and here it is again press F5 now it goes to the routine which display the uh, every value of a table by moving the moving into the structure 
which is WSPFLI and it shows by using the write statement so press F8 here it is the program's uh, uh, result is uh, now showing onto the into the uh, screen um, uh, as you are seeing the two record which are present into the internal table is now are now showing onto the screen let's explore the second option of uh, debugging click back click back here it is we have uh, we know uh, that uh, uh, we explore the first option that is using the breakpoint keyword now we are using to go uh, we are going to use break username option now I am replacing breakpoint to break I a I admin which is my username click save button Here it is the I admin is my username so again activate the program after activating execute the program again select AA uh, if we don't select any value the program uh, no, uh, the, these parameter are used only for the option number two uh, because we are uh, using the first option we don't need value in that parameter So now we are using the break username option. We are we know that the username of uh, um, of me is id admin. You can also find it by clicking on the button which is near to 800. Here it is the user is id admin which is my username so i am using this username um, by for executing the uh, debugging mode let's activate it again and uh, execute the program here it is the system again goes to the uh, debugging mode and uh, and the same uh, same uh, same function has been performed as we uh, we explored by using the breakpoint but the difference of break username and the breakpoint is if the breakpoint exists into the program the program will stop if uh, if any of the user uh, will uh, execute the program the program will stuck and will stop into this line number 26 but if I use the break username so so the if any other user will execute the program the debugging and the program will not go go to the debugging mode because we have set the debugging mode uh, um, under this user that is ID admin So the rest of the flow of the program will be same. Let's uh, I introduce uh, the return option and the F6 uh, option of the uh, icon strip. Let's let's explore it. I'm pressing F5 and then F5 and then F5. The program uh, goes to the line number 31 and if I press F5 it will go into the form routine but the, the benefit of using F6 is it is it will not go inside this form routine it will 
execute the form routine but it will not go into the uh, form routine form routine so let's uh, click or on to the f6 button here it is as you see the program flow goes to the 31 to 30 uh, 31 to 32 line of uh, code and uh, the uh, um, the flow of the program uh, is same as we explore as we already explore click f8 now it's showing the same result on the screen let's again again run it run the program for exploring the option number third that is return f7 the return f7 is i'm clicking uh, on to the f6 uh, sorry f5 and then f5 and then f5 and now again f5 as you are seeing that uh, yeah, the system flow and uh, because I click on the F5 the control uh, flow of a program goes to the uh, the routine get data to line number 57 so if I press F7 return option at this stage it will as you see I click on to the F7 button and uh, um, the flow of a program break there and it move uh, move to the um, control of a program to the line number 32 this is a benefit of f7 option so now execute uh, press f8 again or click on the f8 continue button here it is the program is now showing the result. So, hope uh, we have explored F5, F6, F7, and F8 of Icon Strip of Debugging Tool, and also we have explored the variable desktop, and also we have explored the um, the table uh, table uh, desktop. Also, we have discussed system variable SI sub RC and uh, hope uh, you understand these little things which are which are very important for debugging of any program you can uh, debug any program by using this option and you can easily fix uh, and uh, make your own layout um, as you see as you can understand so so then uh, you can easily debug any program or any uh, you can easily understand the flow of any program so last but not least uh, we uh, we have uh, we want to discuss we must discuss the what are the local variable and what are the global variables let's discuss I execute the program again execute the program so the global variable are WA SPFL5 which will be available in every routine of a, uh, of a program. The global variables are those variables which are av available at any phase or any line of code of program that are global variables that are SPFL5. Let's copy it and press F5, press F5, press F5, press F5 it goes into the um, routine get data 2 I paste here global variable name and press enter it is available you can see it is available without value right now it don't have value that is why it's not uh, showing any value if we go to the display and then explore the global variable WSPFL5 let's double click on it here it is you can find that 
global variable WSPFL5 SPFLI uh, has the desired data and is showing the values of the uh, structure so it's mean that it is available in this form routine and in every form routine of uh, the program so let's press of f8 now explore the local variables again let's go to the debugging mode and uh, here it is so the data and we carry it id is the local variable of a program and it has the default value double a and let's copy it press f5 press f5 press f5 press f5 now let's explore either it is available in this stage of program let's double click on it the system is showing the message invalid variable lv carried id so now you understand that the uh, local variable is variables are not available into the uh, other routine of uh, uh, program while the global variables uh, values and global value variables are available in every section in every part of the other program so we have explored all the important uh, aspects of a deb web debugger uh, now we move on to the next option uh, which uh, uh, will uh, which will uh, move the program to the debugging mode the option number second is putting the uh, entering enter the slash h command slash h command into the command line let's check it out execute the program So now let's explore the second option of the uh, of the web program. How uh, that is press it, enter the slash h command into the command line. Let's check it out. Click on the execute button. enter slash h and then enter the system shows debugging switched on so here it is let's execute the program the system goes again into the debugging mode let's f8 execute first we have to uh, first we have to eliminate the uh, first option which we were using that eliminate or comment this line number 27 so then we can explore the slash h option of debugging let's execute it execute as we don't uh, if we, as we uh, do not enter slash h into the command line this program execute 
very uh, easily and it is not uh, break into the uh, gone into the debugging mode so if I enter slash h then press enter the system is showing the message debugging switch on and if I execute the execute button the system automatically goes into the debugging mode as you are seeing and the rest is the same as we have already explored let's click on F6 F7 and uh, F5 we, we use the same things as we have explored already click F8 the program executed let's uh, explore the third option of going into the debugging mode that putting creating the break the break breakpoints in the program before and uh, between running or executing the program if I double click on the line number 30, 30 let's first uh, for activating the breakpoint on program line we must have to activate the program first so when after activating let's go double click on the uh, side line uh, will, uh, the parallel to the um, program parallel to the line where we want to the uh, to uh, put the breakpoint so there are two types of breakpoint of uh, um, present here uh, in a web uh, the external breakpoint and the session session breakpoint you can set uh, by using this button or um, by using the uh, by double click on the uh, on the left side of the row um, for creating the session breakpoint and for creating the external breakpoint um, first move to the move cursor to, to that line and then click on the external breakpoint button here it is in this uh, way I have created one session breakpoint and one external breakpoint the external breakpoint is uh, those uh, where if this program is called by another program this external breakpoint will execute also while if uh, this program uh, while session breakpoint cannot work um, when I, I call the uh, this program to any other uh, program outside this program so let's execute as you see the system goes into the debug mode click on I, ex I press F8 the system move on to the next breakpoint that is present on the 37 uh, line I again press on F8 the system flows as per normal as the uh, as per the way it is hope you uh, understand bo uh, understand the session breakpoint and the external breakpoint uh, very clearly let's discuss the last and the final way of uh, debugging mode execution that is C38 debugging option let's activate it and let's delete this 
and let us delete this if we go outside the that screen source code of screen we we know uh, we are seeing here that the debugging button is present uh, out there so if we click on the debugging button and then execute the program the system will automatically uh, and goes to the debugging mode and the rest is the same as we discussed later so we have explored all the option uh, option um, option for uh, getting into the debugging mode uh, very clearly and uh, hope you learn a lot um, regarding a web debugger uh, if you like this video do click on the like button and uh, do subscribe to my channel so then you can easily find the new informative video every time i upload on this my channel so take care bye bye let's meet into another interesting video bye bye